There's a quote that I love so much. It's really the filter for everything we do here at camp. It's by Leonard Cohen. Ring the bells that still will ring. Forget your perfect offering. There's a crack in everything. That's how the light gets in. We got a lot of cracks here. There's a whole lot of light. We're just like letting it come in. My name is Teresa Surratt. I'm an advertising creative director in Chicago. I restored a summer camp in Wisconsin with my husband that we call Camp Wanduega. I would be lying if I told you this was always the plan to like grow up and buy a summer camp. My husband, David, had come here since he was a little boy. And um, when he first brought me here, it was terrifying. I mean, these are buildings that were condemned. Literally, a lot of it hadn't been touched in decades. You have to look at everything that's broken, whether it's a relationship or a building, um, or your job or your career or your dreams. And you have to look at the broken pieces because that's what gives you perspective to compare the good with the bad. And things are so much more rewarding when there is sometimes challenges and tension. And I find that in this place. Maybe Isn't that the whole wabi-sabi idea? Of, like, so. you take things that are accidents and make them beautiful. And maybe we fill whatever is missing with, with gold. <laughs> The space is really amazing, but I think it's what you guys do with this space. It continues to live, it continues to grow. It's a blessing and a curse because life is too short and there's too many projects and there's too many things I want to do. I'll wake up in the morning at four o'clock and then I'll have like sketchbooks of things that I'm going to make and do next. The one that I think I'm most excited about now is called the Forever Tree. And it is the true story of the tree house that we're sitting in now. It's a beautiful story about my daughter and a tribute to my father, uh, the, the namesake for the treehouse, Tom's Treehouse. The book is really about how you can look at a, something that's dying or neglected or lost or fallen apart and see something sad, or you could see something that's promising and beautiful and has potential. And I think that that's something that my dad taught me when I was my daughter's age, seeing uh, the silver lining. It's a beautiful piece of therapy I found here. It's just very nice to be in nation, very um, quiet. I don't have to worry about missing what's being said and conversations and meetings that weren't, because that can be very tiring on a daily basis. And um, so when I'm out here, I feel very free, and it's a mental break from everything that you experience every day in the city. Um, it's a nice escape to be out here. Being outside as a kid was something that, like, that was my outlet of running to or from anything, was like, just go outside and, like, dig for worms under a rock and see what's living there. And I think people lose that, and I don't want to lose it, so I just keep digging under rocks. One of my heroes, her name is Shelley Lazarus, when she was being inducted into the Advertising Hall of Fame, she said that you have infinite capacity for the thing that you love. And by that, she just meant that if you love what you're doing and you're passionate about it, then it's never work and you make time. There's no such thing as not having time. It's what we choose to make time for. And I think here at camp, I choose to make time for this place. And more importantly, for the people that come here and the people we share it with. Because truly, it's, um, it's a collaborative community of people that inspire each other. I mean, some artists come out here and they'll make little surprise installations out of found objects and rocks in the woods and they'll leave it. And every year they come back and they add to it. So that when other people are hiking or just exploring, they'll come across these like moments and they're leaving some of their inspiration behind. In a way, they're, they're paying it forward.